Now before you go out and you buy a new computer, or if you just bought one that has Windows 7 on it, know that there are different types or versions of Windows 7. So if you want to know what features are available in each version, we're going to go ahead and cover them here. First of all, they have the basic. Well, they could have called it basic, but that probably wouldn't go over well with the marketing department, so we have home premium. Then you have professional, and then greater than all of them is the ultimate version. Let's go ahead and start with home premium. Home premium is for users who want, as opposed to previous versions of Windows, Vista or XP, improved desktop navigation to be able to start and find programs faster. The latest version of Internet Explorer 8. It's easier, faster, and safer than previous versions. You can also watch, pause, rewind, and record TV. Now keep in mind you got to have a TV tuner card on the back of your computer so you can be able to plug the antenna from your satellite box to the back to get reception because if you don't have that reception coming through to your computer then the software on Windows 7, well, obviously you won't get any reception without that TV tuner card plugged into the cable which plugs into your satellite box or cable box. Also new to Windows 7 is the home group feature. It allows you to easily create a home network and share between computers and also connect to a printer that's on the network. Now keeping in mind that only those computers that are on the network that have Windows 7 can access and be able to sharey wearsy between other people with the home group feature. If you have somebody on the network with Windows XP, Windows Vista, forget it, they won't be able to join the club on the home group. They can still be on the network and still share things, but not through the fancy home group feature here. And then finally we have full system backup and restore, so make sure that you got an external hard drive that you can connect to your computer through a USB cable to the USB port. That way, if something happens to your computer, you can go ahead and restore from that external hard drive all the uh, items that you would have lost if you didn't back it up. Next, you have Professional. Now, Professional includes all the home premium benefits plus three additional ones. Not only can you do a backup and restore, but in Professional, you can back up to a home or group network. So if you have some storage attached to your network, Network Attached Storage, NAS, you can go ahead and back up to that as well. Not just the little attached USB cable storage device, but on the network. If you have one of those programs that you tried running in Windows 7 and it doesn't work, well, you can flip the uh, Windows 7 to run in XP mode. So you can run your XP programs. And then finally, new to Windows 7 is the domain join. It's the ability of your computer to connect to the company's network a little bit easier and more securely. And then finally, greater than them all, that includes everything. Ultimate includes all of home, professional, and two additional items here, BitLocker, which allows you to encrypt your hard drive so that way if somebody comes in, grabs your computer, they don't have the password, but they go ahead and they pull out the hard drive, try to connect it to some device or computer to be able to get stuff off of your hard drive. Well, when it's encrypted, good luck. That's going to be a little bit harder for them to figure out what you have on your hard drive. Now, what's new to Windows 7, because BitLocker was available in Windows Vista, but new to Windows 7 is that you can also encrypt your removable storage devices. So that way you got your USB key, your flash drives, go ahead and plug them in, encrypt them, and so if somebody takes them, at least you got that one layer of security, the encryption. And then finally you have languages, the ability to switch between 35 different languages, all the way from German to Spanish, Portuguese, and in any case it's probably good if your business is operating in different countries around the world. And then finally the comparison chart, you can go ahead and pause the video here to absorb everything that you see here for home premium, professional, and ultimate. So the question is, what is an operating system? Well, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 is an operating system. And the operating system is the first program that is automatically loaded when you start your computer. It's the working area that allows you access to manage your hardware and software. It's the go-between, the interpreter. So when you open up a program, the operating system's got to be able to talk between, let's say, your Word document, and when you click on Print, or when you save your Word document, it saves it to your computer, so the operating system has to direct it to the hard drive to be able to save it there. And then finally, the desktop, well, it's the first working area that's displayed after you log into your computer. So in short, when you first turn on your computer, the operating system loads, and then after it loads, you log in, and you want to start working and performing tasks, the operating system's the background, the interpreter, to allow you to go ahead and work and create Word documents and so on in their different programs. And the first working area that you see when you log in is going to be your desktop, which is part of the operating system that you work in to perform any tasks. Let me go ahead and end my PowerPoint show here, hit the escape key and close out of it. 
what you're looking at is actually Windows 7 just because I don't have a fancy background with a logo and the reason why I changed it to a darker blue background so you can follow the movements of my pointer a little bit easier and more precise here. Now real quick if you want to be able to find out what type or version of Windows 7 that you have installed on your computer you can just come down here and click on the start button. Now if you're coming from Windows XP it doesn't say start but when you hover over the Microsoft logo you get that little pop-up that says start. Go ahead and click on it it opens up the start menu. Come over to the right side of the start menu where it says computer and give it a right click. After you right click it opens up a menu. Come down and left click on properties and there you go. You have the basic information about your computer. The least of which is my operating system Windows 7 Ultimate. And then down below you got more details. The speed of the computer, how much memory, and well probably a lot more information that I want to give to everybody throughout the world here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out and See you in the next training video.